Do I love this job? Yes. Am I great at it? Yes. I love money. So if I have to talk about Raquel Levis getting fucked by Tom Sandoval for, for six weeks until the day I die, I will do it. That doesn't interest me. I don't care. People cheat. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Like this for me, I'm awake. Wow. I got something to talk about. I am so into this. So I will talk about wherever the wind blows to make my sure. dollar what what these people want. But I think Bethany is truly energized by this because this is what she's been saying. Like, guys, this is how the sausage is made. If I know how the sausage is made, David Yontap, she certainly does a thousand times better than me because she's, I'm not sure she's the real deal. So I think she's really the one to do it when, you know, people keep calling me when I say housewives call me, not going to mention any names, the amount of people that have called me and they're like, can you believe what she's doing? She's done. She's done. She's not dumb. I think she's understanding oh, yeah, she's that very she's smart. Dumb. She's very smart. Like, yeah. I don't think, I mean, Bethany, let's just break it down. You go on reality. When she says you go on reality TV for two reasons, fame or money. I agree. Yeah. Bethany does never need to turn on the camera again. I think she loves it, but she doesn't need the fame and she really doesn't need the money. So when all these people are, can you believe she's done, honey? I think she was done before this. I mean, she doesn't seem to want to go back. She had the show that didn't do well, the big shot. Like, I think Bethany's not stupid. I think she knows that she's done and it's like, look at that's a definition of insanity. It's like my relationship with Bravo has changed over the years because when you're being dangled a little carrot and you're like, this is a false promise. I think Bethany knows like she's done. So mm -hmm. what's wrong with being done if you don't care anymore? Like I don't just spoof forth a bunch of venom here 24 hours a day. I know like when, you know, oh, Margaret Joseph will never come on your podcast again. Uh, duh. Melissa Gorga is not going to speak to you. Um, sure. Got it. So I think Bethany like gets that she's probably done. I don't yeah. think she, she doesn't, she doesn't, this is bigger than that. She doesn't need the money. She, she doesn't well, care anymore. I think you're right. And especially after the M MSNBC show has kind of quietly been canceled with Kevin O'Leary there. I, I think she saw it. I think that was probably it, you know, and that's why she's launched the YouTube because you and I kind of talked about like, why is why is she doing this YouTube? Why is the TikTok? But like she now says on her TikTok, this is her new reality show platform. You know, she's owning her own content, making her own money, distributing it when she wants. But she is very brilliant. Nini is too. I mean, I will say like, I'm conflicted about these individuals, but Nini made a lot of great points on Carlos's podcast. She was a pioneer. She, they did built they built a franchise off her back, you know, and she should be receiving, regardless of what I think about her, royalties for a very long time for that, you know, just like these huge Hollywood actors do off of these, you know, TV shows and um, movies that they're in many, many years after. And Nini is correct. She deserves that. And do I think that Nini has experienced racism from Bravo or other cast members? One hundred percent a hundred and ten percent well I, I was gonna say is like beth like can't get out of her own way and it's all about nini and nini thinks that nini is like beyond a star and all yeah i do i do i think she's obnoxious like bethany but doesn't mean they don't have good points i agree with all of that again i mean i think to the point about the racism you know nini has this point which i'm not so sure that she's incorrect where she says you know I've said everything Bethany is saying. Now, she didn't yes. organize it this way. She didn't get the lawyer. So that's kind of on you, girl. But I do think she has a point where she's like, I said all this and no one listened. And that that does, if you think about it, to me, I'm like, well, yeah, that that. Yeah, we got we got a problem there. Guys. I agree with I agree with Nini a hundred and ten percent. And I hope that those two women can team up because, boy, if they could come together, their stories, their networking, their power, the name recognition that they both have. I do think they could change the industry for many, many years to come. So I, I, I hope that 100 percent. And I think because like is Nini really like there's there's this and, you know, Vicky's name and that and there's listen, this is not Bravo, guys. And I want to get into that in a second. But, you know, like I think the number two person that I think of is like Nini, like Bethany should be 
constantly in contact with Nini. Like to me, it's like Nini is vocal. She has had these experiences. Whoever Bethany is reaching out to, Nini can go reach out to a whole, you know, a bunch of different people. But like, I mean, she to me is like, is Nini, like, has she come out and said, like, I am in? I mean, she was busy doing this great interview with Carlos. Are, are we really at that point? I mean, I heard her name and Vicky's name and Wow and Snooki and, you know, a lot of people's names. But has Nini said, I stand with Bethany. Here's what I'm doing. Like, if I were Nini and you uh -huh. really want it organized, I would now, every other day, this is all I would be talking about. If I were Nini, I would be, girl, I, let me tell you, I think you know this, you're never going back to Bravo. Your bridge is burned. Just like Beth, he's, you're probably not going to another network. So like, if I were Nini, I mean, I think this could be even more powerful if she said, I stand with Bethany and I am on and I, here's what I'm going to do. And here's my, right? Like, I don't, we don't know any names and there's apparently 80 names and it's not just Bravo and it's not just housewives. It's rumored to be housewives heavy, but I think Nini needs to now officially look, you, she went on Carlos. I don't know if she can though, cause she's still resolving her lawsuit with Bravo. Okay. She probably can't uh, be too vocal because I'd imagine. Maybe. Uh, look, I want that money. If I'm Nini, right. She's got huge lawyer bills. She's got huge expenses. I mean, she went all in on this lawsuit with Bravo. I, I think Bethany coming out and speaking right now is really going to help whatever settlement they're working on, because, you know, you know how jurors and I mean, it's hard. It's hard not to like taint the public poll, you know, or, or opinion. Yeah. Polls. I think this is working for Nini. And I think if I was Nini's lawyer, I'd be like, look, let's get this resolution with Bravo. And then you can always re up and join Bethany and, you know, go full wholeheartedly, but they still have some points I think to resolve. Yeah. So, I mean, that is a good point. Point well taken. I just think this is what's interesting to me. It's that why is what's, where is the letter to MTV? Where is the letter to Netflix selling sunset? Where is the letter TLC. to TLC? Why is it that, it's Bravo. I mean, it makes you think the most toxic situations out of everything they heard is Bravo, right? Like where, I mean, why is this letter from Bravo surfaced? Where is the TLC letter? Where is the Lifetime letter? You know, there's reality shows on every network. Where's the CBS letter? We have Big Brother. We have Survivor. We have, we have, where are these other letters? That's what I don't understand. Why well, is it I that Bravo is the letter? The nail sticking out gets the hammer. You know, I mean, Bravo is right now, when you think reality TV, you think how I think, you think Housewives number one. You know, sure. I think you think they're, they're, they're the dominant, right? They've gone all in with these Bravo cons and the it, watch what happened, all these. I mean, you know, TLC is very smart in that they've always, they, their thing has always been, let's just hang back. We'll be a fly on the wall to people's lives 